Happy, happy Tuesday, my loves. I am so sorry, y'all, that I missed last week, but I was busy. I had a lot of people come by, and then I was trying to catch up with work, and I kept going, I'll, I'll do it on this day, I'll do it on that day, and then it was like every day there was somebody or something that came up. So I apologize, but I is here now. So let's see, before we get going, I have to show you these earrings. Hold up, look at this. Mambo Sierra, look at this. Mambo Sierra on her Etsy. Hold up, wait, wait, wait till you see these. Wait till you see these. And her deck is coming out, and I just ordered mine. Hold up, you would think my ears appear, so I would find a hole easier. Mambo Sierra, look at that. Oh, let me get them to stop moving. Aren't these cute? And I had these before uh, for Dantour with the machete. But some kind of way, I lost one. Or I think one broke when I put it to the side. But isn't that, isn't that? Uh, and then hold up. I love this. Look at this, y'all. I know I'm trying to get close. Hold up. Oh, let me get a center. Isn't this beautiful? Mumbo Sierra. And I know um, I can't wait to get the deck to show y'all the deck. If you follow her on TikTok or you go to her Etsy, um, Mumbo Sierra, you will find information. Uh oh, what did I do with the back? Dang it. I hate every time. Every, I just took the earrings off, just took them off and lost the back to both of them. And I know they right in front of my face, but this is what happens when you can't, uh Oh, I found one. This is what happens when you can't see even with your glasses on. And let me see. So Mambo Sierra for the jewelry, badass, badass. And go to her Etsy. She has more stuff on there. Her cards are also coming out. Let me see. I think I moved her deck. Yep, right here. This is her first deck. And I'm going to pull some of the cards out. But her her one that she has coming out surpasses. I mean, it's good. It is good. I cannot wait. But this is the first one. Look at this. This is like make me money. Now, we don't want to know how she making the money, but the money coming in. But she looked like she having a good time making the money. That's the way I want to make my money. That is, I want to smile like this and have my eyes roll back. Is that even right? Should I even be saying that? But that's how I want to make my money. <laughs> and then we have soul ties. And I love the um, the black and white aspect of it. I love that. Let me see. She has one trap. And we got a mouse trap. And look at the stalker hiding in the plant. They know they wrong for that too. And then we have the ripple effect. Now, with Mambo Sierra's mind, I don't even want to ask what this white stuff is. <laughs> she, she already know. I, it could be milk. <laughs> it could be. But I don't know. Emotional baggage. This is what we all feel during these eclipses, these retrogrades. This is how I wake up, y'all, in the morning. And we need to do a wellness check because I know a lot of y'all are feeling like this, too. Like, what the fuck is going on in this world? Um, let's see. Oh, this also could be me too. Look at that. Like, what we doing? What we doing today? What we doing? All right. Oh, same sex loving. Look at this with a Barbie. So disrespectful. <laughs> ah, but to know Mambo Sierra's mind is to love it. And I love these cards. I absolutely love these cards. I don't, I read for them with them personally for me, but you know what? Maybe Friday we'll pull them out and read with these cards. Um, or maybe even next spirit message. We'll read with these cards. So we'll get ready for the new cards that are coming in. Now, hold up. That's Mambo Sierra. I'm not, I'm not done spreading the love y'all. Look at this candle. Look at this candle. So a lot of y'all may not know, I love, I have, my house is full of Buddhas. I, 
in my other life, I must have sat down and talked to some, some, uh, spiritual Buddha man or something, or I don't know, because I have Buddhas all over the house. First, I thought I had a, a thing for like fat, you know, short men that were bald with a big belly. And maybe I do subconsciously, I don't know, but I love the Buddhas. So, uh, hands of a healer, H A N D Z of a healer, joy, joy bear created this. And this dude is big and beautiful. This, I don't even, I kept going, how do you even light this candle? Like, how do you light it? It would break my heart to light it. This might be a new year's bring in blessings candle. And I might cry when I light it because it is so gorgeous. But look at this, look at his belly. Look at his belly. Isn't this beautiful y'all? This is beautiful. Hands of a healer dot com h a n d z o f a h e a l e r dot com hands of a healer all right and let's see we have customs by lasha and i want to say am i saying it right i think it's lasha um and this is kbl for me dot com this is a selenite wand now y'all see when i do um the, the monthly readings, which I'm going to get on today. I'm going to start them today. Um, that I use a selenite wand, which is really, really good for positive energy healing. But look at this. It's a chakra wand. Isn't this nice? And the incense, I don't think I have any of his incense up here, but they smell heavenly, heavenly. So this is beautiful. KBL for the letter, the number four, well, I keep saying the letter for the number four, me m e dot com this is gorgeous 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 and i got attuned in um reiki one and two this weekend with otavia um and it was amazing it was an amazing experience if you are looking for a uh reiki healer um it is a reiki affair reiki affair dot com and it's Otavia Callahan and I call her Tavi. I don't know. I, I don't know if everybody else calls her Tavi, but a hit her up. I came back and I was on cloud nine. I was like pumped. I was like, let me heal you. Let me heal you. I was blasted. Come on to the family. Let me blast. I was chasing the cats down. Let me bless. Let me blast you and bless you with this, with this energy. You know? So I was like, are you feeling, are you hurting? The birds was flying and I was like, let me give you some good energy. Let me give you some positive energy. So I was sending it out. I was sending it out to the universe. Reiki uni universe, Reiki energy was, was healing everything. So I was pumped. And if you cannot tell, I'm still pumped. So if you are looking for these people, if you did not understand anything I said with their, with their websites, hit me up and I will make sure that I put their links in for this, but beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I can't even, I mean, I waited. I, y'all don't even know. Cause I kept telling her, I need my earrings. I need my earrings. And she was like, I got you. I got you. And I was so excited. And then the bonus part that comes with it. Ugh, y'all beautiful, beautiful. All of it. Beautiful. And I'm a true Libra, y'all Libra, Libra. Libra, y'all know I love beauty. I love the aesthetics of a lot of different things. And this just blew me away. This Buddha oh, 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 blew me away. So please, if you need anything, reach out, reach out to them. I love to support my people. They take good care of me. And so I want to take good care of them too. And I don't like to keep people a secret. If it works for me and it makes me feel good, I'm kind of like, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go ahead and spend this money. Let's put this energy into it. Let's support. All right. So let's see. Is there anything else? I'm going to start the monthlies. Um, and like I said, wellness check in. I'm going to be saying some prayers. If you feel like you need some prayers, just put your name 
first name. Um, you don't even have to tell me the situation because I know a lot of us right now are struggling. The energy is just all over the place. And then we have a full moon coming in Friday, I believe on the 5th, which for some of us, it's either going to flip us back right or are we going to flip back down? Or are we going to be doing this roller coaster thing that's going on? So do your spiritual cleanses, you know, say your prayers, you know, it's time to eliminate things that, that don't suit us anymore. You know, people, environments, energies, addictions, they're things that we need to get rid of because this year is really going to bring a lot of things to light. And some of you are going to be looking at people crazy because you're going to have relationships that fall apart just within the month, last month, moving into this month, I'm looking at how many people that I helped within last year, moving into this year that have literally fucked over me. And I'm like, okay, was I wrong to help? No, I wasn't. But it's kind of like dealing with people that are snakes with two heads. Like you see one head and you know you need to be a little bit cautious of that head, but it's like I still want to kind of help you because maybe you need it. And then uh, for the bullshit of it is they come back and they bite you in the ass with the other goddamn head. And then it's on me because it was like, well, shit, I knew. I saw two heads. I saw two heads and I wasn't prepared for that. And some of y'all this year are going to be dealing it with people like that. It's going to be like, well, you know what? I knew it was something, but I still felt compelled. So we have to be careful that we don't let our empathy pull us in the direction of people that don't really want to be healed. People that are faking the funk. They're playing the games. They just want your energy. They want your time. They want your money. They want your body whatever it is. And we saw it in retrograde where all these people are coming back all in the readings and everything. And people are like, um, you know, they, they sound like they changed, you know, and I want to give them a chance. And then the next week it's like, well, goddamn, they did something to me. Reminds me of that, uh, that Bobby Caldwell song. What is it? What you won't do, do for love. You tried everything, but you don't give up. In my world, only you made me do for love what I would not do. And that's how some of y'all are doing with these exes that is coming back. I said I was never going to fuck with them no more. I said I never was going to deal with them no more. I wasn't going to answer the call. And there you go, answering the call and the text. And you right back in the fold, and then you get fucked over again. Y'all got to let some people go. Y'all have to let them go. Don't be up there, what you won't do, do for love. Because love have to be reciprocated. It can't be one-sided. So if you up here giving yourself for a love that ain't even giving back to you, they got three, four other loves that they all, you know, rotating and the shit like that, you don't even need to be singing that song. You don't need to be sacrificing yourself and your love for somebody that ain't giving you no shit back. That is my TED Talk. Let's get into this reading. Spirit messages. Let's see. What do we have coming in for the people this week? Spirit. And y'all be really careful with some of these spiritual advisors and, and healers and all these people with titles and shit out here that aren't living up to their titles. They, the character is wrong. The ethics are wrong. The morals are wrong. You know, question everything. Even if you come in my inbox, question me. Because some of these people ain't right. They just not right, y'all. Messages for the people. Give the people what they want. Now this song gonna be stuck in my head all day. What you won't do, do for love. You tried everything, but you don't give up. In my world, only you made me do for love what I would not do. Made me do for love what I would not do. Made me do for love what I would not do. Oh, some somebody need to hear that. Don't do it. Don't do it. It ain't love. It ain't love. All right. Let's get into it ancestors god goddess deities that you work with what is the message that you need to hear card number two please card number two 
What's going on? Mm, card number three. Well, God, <laughs> spirit, a dog. Let me at least. Card number three. What are the messages for card number three? Okay. All right. Card number four. Card number four. Card number five. I should be giving y'all the times out when I see that. Card number five was what, 16? The 16 mark? Next time I'm going to do that. But I guess you, it'll make it easier for me to go back and edit where, uh, when I look back at it. I used to do where I would just have, but sometimes it'd be the whole message, and I think that's why I stopped doing it. Because some people were skipping the other cards and they needed to hear it. So yeah, spirit is like, leave it as is. Card number five. Okay. Well, it may have something to do with your health. Card number six. What's going on with card number six? Mm. One more time, spirit. Spirit got something to tell you. What they gonna tell you? Hold up. Can you give us Give us a hint on what it could be about so they don't miss the message, Spirit. What are you trying to tell them? Are you talk, trying to talk to them about their extended car insurance? What are you trying to tell them, Spirit? Card number six. there is maybe you have somebody that's causing this we have conflict coming in hmm so some of y'all definitely card number six are gonna have some issues with some people all right so card number one first card comes out feeling trapped second card is loneliness now this could be that you're going through this period of things are not moving for me things are not moving forward and there's change that's coming in and this change is becoming painful because we have this person that is wrapped in their barbed wire. So it's almost like I am trying to get something. Hold up, you guys. I got an itch. Yeah, are trying to get something to move forward. But this change may be painful. So it's almost like um, I want to pull away. The loneliness card could be that somebody is like people are not supporting me. They're not checking in on me. Or this could be that I am distancing myself because I'm going through some type of period or change and I feel like maybe nobody understands it or I just don't want to be around people and some of you I kind of feel like you just getting tired of hearing the same thing over and over again like you may be telling people I'm struggling or I'm going through something and they're like well have you tried this or whatever and so I feel like there's this energy of I want to pull away it could be hermit but it also is a feeling of not being supported like maybe i'm not being supported as much as i need to be supported right now so you're going through a major life change and it's painful it hasn't been easy um pulling away might be the best thing for you being lonely uh i feel like that there is this thing of not just wanting to be with people's energy 
and maybe you've just been having some people, like I said, the energy hasn't been good. You're not hearing the things that you need to hear from these people or you're not getting the support. It's not going to be something that is going to be long term. I think while you're going through this transformation or this change, there's some stuff that you have to navigate on your own that nobody can help you with. And that may be why it's like nobody's stepping forward. And I don't mean to say that you don't have support, but maybe there's a lesson because this change is showing that you have to start maneuvering out this barbed wire. So you may have some people that have helped before in the past and they're pulling back because it's like you need to do this or spirit may be putting up boundaries where you need to go ahead and deal with this change that's coming through. And when we look at this phase, they, they, it's hurting them. It's hurting them to make this next move in their life. So this may be, don't focus on people. Don't put your energy on people. Focus on this change or whatever that's coming through because it looks like it's taking a lot out of you. But it looks like it's necessary, card number one. Card number two, first card comes out, body image, and then we have woman confidence. Now, this could be looking at yourself and being like, I need to get this tummy tuck. I need to get these breasts this lifted. I need to get this buttocks, you know, kissing the sun or whatever. But this is maybe looking at your body and saying, I need to do some changes. I need to do something. I'm not, I'm not happy with the way that it's looking. Now, this doesn't mean that, you know, you're having some major crisis with your body. This could be that some of you maybe start exercising. This may not all be surgery, but typically when I look at this body image and I look at the scars and things like that, I feel like that this may be looking into having to have some type of surgery. This could be cosmetic surgery. This could be physically wanting to change your body. Some of y'all may be starting some exercise um, regime where it's like, I really need to tighten a tone or something up. Now, whatever you decide to do, we have the confident woman. So whether you're a male or a female, this is basically, I'm putting energy into my body. I'm changing my body. And some of this may be becoming, maybe because you're transforming, you're coming out of a situation and it could be that you're pulling away because you need to focus in on yourself. Like I don't have time to deal with these other people. I need to work with my temple, you know, my physical temple. So I do feel like for some of you, you might be looking into doctors, researching, there may be a procedure that's coming in. Some of this could be a hernia. I just feel like there's going to be some changes that are going on with your body, the aesthetic of your body. Okay. Some of you definitely is cosmetic surgery. Card number three, we have self-imposed bondage and we have a home. This is being stuck in an environment that maybe is not making you happy. You may be looking at your living arrangements or your environment as more of a challenge than a blessing. Some of you may be thinking I need to move, but I don't have the money or I need to make changes with my house. I need to remodel. I need to do something, but I don't have the income. I feel like there's a financial issue with this. Could be two roommates, could be something in the environment that you don't want to deal with. And spirit is like, you need to address it. Self-imposed bondage is somebody who doesn't want to look at something. They don't want to deal with it, but it doesn't make it go away. In fact, it's still there. So if you're having an issue, something needs to be repaired in the house and you're ignoring it and ignoring it, it's going to end up costing you more money. If you're behind on your rent and you're like, okay, you know, I'm just going to sit here till they evict me. Spirit is like, nope, self-imposed bondage. You're making a decision that is not right for you. So this card is something about your environment. You have to be very careful. You're making decisions that may not be putting you or digging you out of a hole. They may be digging you deeper into a hole. So whether this is letting somebody move in with you, that's not going to pay you rent. They're not going to help with the bills. They're going to cause problems. This could be having an adult or a grown child in your house that is lazy, not doing anything. And they're running your bills up and you just don't want to tell them to leave. This could be, like I said, you know, going, getting behind on your rent or your bills. And, you know, I don't want to look at it. I don't want to look at the bill when it comes in, you know, because I don't have the money. But if you don't do it, you might get an eviction notice. So there's something that you have to deal with, with your living environment that you cannot keep putting off. Card number three, whether it's with people, repairs or bills or something that needs to be paid, you need to deal with it. Some of you, you could be in, um, and I don't feel like this is romantic relationship. I, I just feel like that you could be dealing with someone that may be uh, even possessive or controlling where you can't do what you want to do. 
in your house. This is an energy of being trapped, but it's not spirit holding you back. It's not anybody particularly holding you back. This is self-imposed. This is putting yourself in an environment or in a situation where you can move, but you don't want to. You don't want to. And it's based off of your decisions card number three. So this is almost like really look at the situation and make a better decision about it. Because the decision that you're making may cause you more issues, especially if you're ignoring it. If that's your decision. All right. Card number four. First card that comes out is fake friend. And then we have conflict. So you're going to be dealing with an energy of some people that you are maybe thinking that you're cool with. When I look at this card, this is somebody who starts, they bring in a lot of drama. So we have somebody who's wearing two faces and you may be comfortable talking to them, sharing things with them, but they're going back telling other people. And when they do this, it pulls in multiple people. So this could have been a one-on-one -on -one situation. But I feel like that this person did this on purpose. Some of y'all are dealing with somebody that knows that they're about to start some shit in your life and they're bringing other people in to do it. So if you are dealing with a person that you thought you could trust or a friend that you can trust, they're working against you. They are. This person never was a friend. They may have pretended or perpetrated. Like I said, I've helped a lot of people over the last year. And then I'm seeing all this bullshit where these people are like, well, can you work her or can you do this? Or can you cause problems for her? And I'm like, what the fuck did I do to you? You know, and that's not my issue. It is, it's not a me issue. It's a them issue because this person never was right. So some of y'all are going to be dealing with this. I just had a guy the other day that was telling me, um, somebody that I had helped, came to him and um they wanted him to do some work against me and he was like but i thought she helped you out and i was like i, I don't know no and it's another dude i don't know what's going on with him but i think the thing about it is is that sometimes we pour energy into people like this and we feel like that they are friends because maybe they put the right energy at the time but it's that double-headed snake y'all remember when i was telling you it's that double-headed snake so you could be dealing with somebody that you're like, okay, I thought we were cool, but then they come over here and they start causing problems. And I feel like that this person is trying to turn a group of people against you. This could be coworkers. This could be family members. This could be in a spiritual community where you thought that you had a good relationship with this person. And now you're realizing that they're putting some gossip out there. They're trying to defame your name, or they're trying to say some really negative things about you. And some of you, you're going to be really disappointed and you're going to be hurt when you see this because you thought that this was a friend. Ooh, it happens. It happens. And you got to watch your back. You got to watch your back. But I do feel like there's a lot of gossip and it could be coming towards you where this person is really trying to make you look bad. So, and they're trying to make other people upset. Maybe it makes it easier for these other people. Like, you know, let's all work her. Let's all work him. Let's all get him fired. Let's get her fired. Let's cause problems. And then at the end of the day, none of these people have a problem with you. It's this person. But this person is so manipulative, manipulative that they have played with these people's minds to make you be the problem. So some of y'all look at the people around you. Look at how they are acting because you're going to see it. Some of you are definitely, you're definitely going to see it. All right. So card number five, first card that came out was watch your diet. And then we have illness. So this is not about just the extra weight gain and you trying to get into your genes or whatever. This could be something going on with your heart, your blood pressure, diabetes. So this is saying that you really need to start watching what you eat. Not because spirit is trying to control your diet. They're not telling you, oh, you just got to go vegan for this elevation or to so grow spiritually, it literally is a physical thing. So if you've been having problems, especially with your digestion, your colon, um, constipation, maybe bloating in your stomach, you're going to see that um, spirit is giving you like this, this message or this energy of taking better care of yourself, eating better, putting better things into your body. Now, whether that means that you go vegan, do it. If it feels right to you, do it. It could be drinking more water. It could be giving up, you know, soda. It could be uh, eating more fruit. Whatever it is, there's a reason. And for some of you, could be that maybe you're going to get some type of cosmetic surgery or you're going to get some type of modification and you know you have to get that BMI down. 
for a few of you though, maybe you've been suffering and I feel like bloating or, you know, some of you may be walking around here like you're nine months pregnant and you're not pregnant, male or female. So watch your diet. And it could be too. pay attention to the foods that you cannot eat anymore. Foods that you try to ingest and they just don't sit right. You know, like me and ice cream have a love hate relationship. And I've kind of pulled back from it because I was like, Ugh, I'm not feeling the love ice cream. I'm not feeling, I still want to do you, but I'm not feeling love. You do me dirty when I do it. So some of y'all might be having these conversations <laughs> with your food. Like I want to eat you salsa. I want to eat you with some chips and some queso, but you be fucking me up. You be fucking me up. So have the conversations, make peace with it. And it may be that you have to find something else that you can eat in lieu of that. Like, you know, if it's something like with salsa, maybe you can still eat it, but not so spicy. Or maybe if it's ice cream, you need to do like a, something that is maybe, uh, you know, lactose free or something like that. Go ahead and talk to your food, ask your spirits to show you. What do I not need to take? How can I modify this? And some of you, I definitely feel like there's going to be some issues with digestion, colon, um, stomach upset and things like that, bloating. So you need to get on top. All right, card number six. So we have a message coming in first. And then it causes some anxiety, but it's coming from spirit. Let me get up here. And conflict is what the spirit is telling you. You have some conflict that's coming in. So some of you may be feeling some type of anxiety. Um, maybe you got some correspondence or you have a social media and you're seeing some posts or some comments that are making you feel some kind of way. And spirit is telling you, pay attention, pay attention to what you feel because there's some conflict that's coming in with multiple people. Now for some of you, could it be this energy? Could you still be dealing with somebody that maybe put something out and they're trying to turn some people against you? A lot of you, I feel like that this, oh, let me get the right card. A lot of you, I feel like this is on social media. Now, this could be in your workspace. Could be with coworkers and things like that. Some of you, this could even be an ulcer that is getting aggravated by something that you eat. But I feel like for a few of you, spirit is like, look, let's connect. We need to talk because you got some conflict that's coming in that may cause some anxiety for you. Pay attention to the messages and the dreams that are going to be coming your way because you have someone on the other side. It could be your ancestors um, telling you, watch some people that you're dealing with. Watch some communication. Now, we know we're still in Mercury's um, energy, so there may be some things that are said that hurt you or offend you or confuse you. But I do feel like whatever this conflict is, this could be gossip. Maybe you're doing something really, really well and you have some people that are ganging up. You know, uh, we don't like that, you know, Sally Sue is able to complete the project. We don't like that um, she's getting a promotion or he's being recognized for something that he came up with. So there is something that's brewing underneath the surface and some of you are going to have to deal with this energy. If it doesn't hit you this week, I feel like that it may come in this month. So pay attention to conversations that you have with people because some of these people are not right. They're not right. Also be careful that, you know, if you're in an environment with these people that you're not absorbing negative talk, like, you know, you never have been good. You never will be good. That's why you still stuck in the house with me. That's why you're still stuck in your situation. Be careful of what you hear because for some of you, you're going to shut down and you're going to hold yourself in a holding pattern where you cannot move forward. And the change may be really painful for you to break. Some of you may need to pull away from negative people or negative energy. And I feel like this year, a lot of things are going to come to light. Some of you are going to see these people for who they really are. My circle is getting smaller and smaller at the rate that it's going. It might be me and two people standing in up there talking about pity pat pity pat because i the rest of them i don't even know what the fuck is going on with some of these people but if you have to go ahead and and tighten up your circle or your group do it do it if you see something and you know that it's not beneficial for you cut it away life is short i don't know the older i get i'm like damn i don't owe people nothing no explain no explanations no no putting energy into friendships especially if they really don't want a friendship there's a lot of people out here manipulating and using people for a private agenda 
I want you, but I want you because you can do this for me, but I'm not really a friend because I wouldn't do, I wouldn't reciprocate the energy. So be really careful that you're not pouring into someone that is not pouring back into you. And I'm seeing this a lot, especially with love readings, people that have been with people for 15 years and they're still waiting for a, a ring or a marriage five kids, kids later. And this dude is still out here fucking around with other people, or you have a woman that is using you because of codependency. I don't want to work. I don't love you, but I want to stay in the house because you're paying all the bills. It's not a relationship that is reciprocated. Friendships where you're pouring more energy into it. They're helping you out and you're not giving them anything back or vice versa. It's time to cut ties. It really is because you're pulling dead weight. And I know some of you are feeling it. And it's going to be brought to the light. It really is this year. So be prepared. All right, my loves. Have a beautiful day. I love you. Let's start on some monthly readings. Mwah.